Okay, good evening. Welcome to. Oh, you want the more 1,070. Yeah, 1,070. We're not 100 percent sure on the number, but um, we're looking at a new uh, Katrina Shira problem or puzzle from today. All right. Um, why don't you explain what it is, and then um, we haven't really talked through how you're going to talk about it, but um, you can either do it on the whiteboard or on the on the piece of paper, whatever you like. All right. So we have two quarter circles that are inside of a semicircle. All right. And so one. Let me just, sorry, let me just slide it over so it's slightly more in view. Sorry about that. Okay. One, one length touches, one corner touches here, one corner touches on this flat side. All right. right here. Um, and then we asked what fraction is shaded of the figure. Okay. All right. So I guess I can just do it on the paper. That's fine. There's a similar point with if you want. So I called this length A here. Okay. Um, originally I thought, I assumed that this bit here would be the center of this semicircle, but that's not the case. Okay, how did you know that wasn't the case? Oh, uh, well, if you just look at it here, I mean, you still have more of this semicircle to right. go here, I and then see. they're, I think, they're the same size. Okay, yeah, so, so it's good, good observation. Um, so it's actually somewhere in the middle, and it's where when, where these two points, or the two semi or quarter circles intersect. If you drop an altitude down, this is where the center of the circle is. Oh, nice, all right. Um, so in order to find this triangle, I drew this line from here to here, but which also passes through the center here. Okay. Since you're going down at a constant rate, once you reach here, you've gone halfway down of A. So this is A over 2. So you have a triangle with this side, A over 2 and A, so this side is a over 3 over 2. Great, wow, good job. That's that's really excellent reasoning. Um, so now we can use that. We have a triangle of A, A root 3 over 2, and then the radius of the semicircle. Um, and then that, the, once you do the Pythagorean theorem, it turns out that this is it's like this A squared of 7 over 2. Okay, nice. Right. All right, so the radius is square root of seven, a times the square root of seven over two. All right, cool. Um, and then from there, we can just uh, use the area formula for a circle and divide by two to find the whole area. So just, this turns out to be seven a squared pi. It, it would be over four, but since it's a semicircle, we divide by two, so it's over eight. All right, nice. And then these two shaded uh, quarter circles. We can sort of combine them into one semicircle with cells radius a, and so its area is pi times. Right pi. Oh right, yeah, I did write pi. So it's a squared pi over two, which we can write as four a squared pi over eight. Okay. And so we can see four out of the seven a squared pi over eight is shaded, so four sevenths is shaded. Really good. That is a great solution. Um, I love your reasoning. Um, all right, so now we'll try to find something in the thread to talk through, okay? Yeah.